All right, folks, good morning. Uh, been a request for doing photo tracing in Inkscape. So this is my take on it. First of all, you go on up here to object. Excuse me. There we go. Path. Trace bitmap. Click in. I turn on with the image chosen. I turn on live preview. Make sure remove background is checked. Turn off smooth. Leave stacked scans on. Okay. We're going to go with color. We're going to go with about eight scans. We're going to hit OK. And when the hourglass gets done doing its thing, the trace will have been done. This is the hardest part of the whole thing, having to wait. And it shouldn't be much longer. There we go. Click, hold down, and drag that image off. We don't need this one anymore, so we can pull it right out of the way. We can close our trace dialog box. Right click on the image, ungroup. I'm going to zoom out a little bit because I've got eight pieces I've got to actually uh, display here. Okay, click and hold on to one, drag it off. Two, drag it off. Three, drag it off. Four, five, six, seven, and there is no eight there. Then what I do is I grab them all, go down to my color palette, left click on the black, and I turn them all black, and then I go up here and I will look. This one's too dark, we can delete it. This one's too light, we can delete it. This one's way too dark, we can delete it. Another one a little bit too dark. We've got three to choose from now. Personally, I think my choice would be between these two, so I would delete this one. And uh, there is your trace. Okay, pretty simple, huh? Okay, let's use a picture of me. We'll do the next one here. Again, go up to Path, Trace Bitmap, Live Preview is turned on, Colors at 8, Remove Background is turned on, Stack Scans is, is turned on, it's okay, and we turn off Smooth. Hit OK. And it's going to make another scan. It's done. We can close the dialog box. Click hold and drag off. We can get this out of the way now. Right click on this image here once it's chosen. Ungroup. Click hold, drag off. Click and hold, drag off. Click and hold. And drag it off, click and hold, drag it off, click and hold, click and hold. Okay, choose all of these, go down to the color palette, left click on black. Okay, this one is way too light, we can't use it. This one, I can't even see my face, get rid of it. Same with this one, this one, this one is way too dark. Out of all of these, I would probably choose that one right there. This one just a little bit too light, not enough. I would delete it. This would be my acceptable one to use in this case. Sometimes you'll find that uh, certain pictures lend themselves to this process and sometimes they don't. Uh, it's just going to depend on the photo that you choose to uh, to work with. This is a good friend of mine. I'm going to trace her photo. Uh, 
All right, that's done. We can close that dialog box, click and drag off. We can get this one out of the way now. Drag it down off the side. For some reason, my Inkscape is running a little slow this morning. Well, so am I, so I guess that's, uh, that's okay. All right. Click, hold down, and drag it off. Click, hold down, drag it off. Click and hold down, drag it off. Click, hold down, drag, click, hold down, drag, click, hold down, drag, and I think that's the last one. Zoom out a little bit where I can grab all these. All right, again, down to the color palette. Left click on black. We can look at these real quick. Easy to see that one's too dark. Same with this one. Definitely same with this one. Let me move these four together. We'll get in a little closer and look at them. All right. This one to me is a little bit dark. This one is a little bit light. The choice would be between these two. If I was to choose, I would probably choose this one. Some may choose this one. Uh, that's about all there is to it. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Uh, about eight scans. You can either use a grayscale or color. It doesn't matter. Make sure your background, uh, your check background is taken care of like I showed you. And uh, uh, you're good to go after that. I hope this has been helpful.